continuing our education series this week with a look at American parents who chose to homeschool their kids over sending them to public education uh, post-pandemic. The U.S. Census Bureau showing homeschooling rose nationally by about 6% during the 2020-2021 school year. That number skyrocketed for several states. Alaska being the highest, 18% more parents homeschooling their kids, 13% more homeschooling in Florida, Oklahoma and Vermont spiked by 12%. Here to talk about why parents are doing this, why they're choosing homeschool over traditional classrooms is Stephanie Lambert, executive director for the Texas Homeschool Coalition. I was a kid and some of my best friends, their parents decided to homeschool them and it was like the saddest day because now my buddy, my buddies were not gonna be in class anymore. They were gonna be at home and we had to figure out when we were gonna hang out after they did their homework. Meanwhile, I was in class. So uh, the state of Texas seeing a big jump in this. Is it all over the hybrid work environment or the learning loss of the students who maybe didn't really deal well, fare well uh, during the pandemic? Well, we have seen a huge hurt, a huge surge in homeschooling in Texas. Um, there are many reasons that parents are deciding to homeschool. Um, among them are safety issues. And then, of course, um, just the, the COVID restrictions and things like that have been a reason that parents have been stating as well. But in Texas, I, I, I remember I was there in Dallas, Fort Worth, when the state shut down all the highways and uh, Governor Greg Abbott decided, you, no travel, I'm closing down the state. So I got on a plane and got out of there so I could get back home to New York City where everything was really shut down. But Texas wasn't as constrained as some of the other cities like Los Angeles, San Francisco, uh, New York. So is this being driven by families who are wanting to be more in control over what their kids are learning in the classroom? Like the conversation that's being had in Florida over what's being taught, what books are allowed in the libraries or on school shelves? That's a good question. I think that's part of it. Um, I think one reason parents are saying is just academics in general. So homeschool students tend to score above their public school peers, mm -hmm. um, 15 to 30 percentile points. So parents are recognizing that their involvement in their child's education actually can make a big difference for them academically. Um, they're also citing reasons like religious and moral instructions. Parents want to be able to give their kids, their own values. Um, and even in the black community, you're seeing a lot of people actually say racism in the public schools is something that is driving them to homeschool. But is there a silver lining here? I mean, this is not, you know, I, I wanna make this conversation something where we look to the positives and the solutions here. There are a lot of families who prior to 2020 were completely consumed by what was on their phone, completely consumed with work, completely overwhelmed with busyness. And then the pandemic forced a lot of us to slow down and reassess what our priorities are. Is it possibly that we're seeing some of these spikes in homeschooling because parents are saying, I wanna be with my kids more. I wanna be more active in terms of their upbringing so that I prepare them for the real world, which is getting scarier and scarier by the day. Absolutely, Adrian. I think there's a huge silver lining. And the thing is when parents are involved in their kids' lives, kids do well. Um, so with with the parents actually experiencing homeschooling through COVID, a lot of people were on the fence as to whether they would homeschool or not. Then they they had to step into it during COVID. They felt forced into it, and then they realized they could do it. So I think there's a huge silver lining. Homeschooling is the best type of education where parents can be the most involved, and when parents are involved, students succeed. So I think it's I think it's a really great opportunity for our country. Stephanie, there's a little secret. My producer's telling me we're out of time, but I have to speak this question, and then I hope my producers forgive me. When it comes to really successfully homeschooling your children with parents who've never done it before, can you just give a piece of advice to those who are juggling work and educating their kids at home, at the kitchen table? I would say you can do it. It's much easier than you expect. You're already raising your kids and academics is just an extension of that. So I would say be confident and know that you can do it. There are a lot of people out there who can help you. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.